hello dear students we were doing trigonometry and uh, so far in trigonometry we have done calculations regarding right angle triangle and uh, today we are going to start calculations about uh, scalene triangle with the help of uh, trigonometry in this regard first of all we have sine law or uh, law of sine This is a scalene triangle and we have three angles capital A, capital B and capital C and we have three sides. This is small a, this is small b and this is small c. So we have three components. Small a, b, c are sides and uh, capital A, b, c are angles in this scalene triangle. Okay, in sine sin law, basically the ratio between any side and uh, the sine of opposite angle is always equal for example in this triangle a is side and capital a is opposite angle of this side so if we take ratio of side of with opposite with sine of opposite angle we will have a over sine a similarly uh, if we start from b the ratio between side and sine of the opposite angle will be b over sine b and again the ratio between this side and sine of the opposite angle will be c over sine c this is sine law we can also take reciprocal of these three terms this will become sine a over a is equal to sine b over b and this will be equal to sine c over c or we can also write sine a over a is equal to sine b over b or uh, sine c over c is equal to sine a over a so we can write in different ways this is sine law and uh, <clears throat> we can use this sine law in calculations regarding scalene triangle for example if you have a triangle like this let's suppose this angle is 85 degree and this side is 15 centimeter if this angle is 40 degree what can you say about this side we can calculate this side using sine law what does sine law say it says that the ratio between side to the opposite angle is always equal so x is a side and 40 is opposite angle so that will become x over sine 40 similarly we will have here 15 over sine 85 we want to calculate x sine 40 will go here so we can calculate x now using calculator this will become the um, sine 40 multiplied by 15 divided by sine 85 So we will have 9.6 so x will be equal to 9.6 centimeter so this was sine law and uh, its application up next we have cosine law cosine law okay we can start from any side we have three sides side a side b and side c we can start from any side i'm going to start from side a a square now we are starting from a so on right hand right hand side we will consider other two sides uh, which are b and c b square plus c square minus 2 into product of both these two sides bc into sine of the angle between b and c the angle between b and c is a oh sorry cause cause of the angle between both sides this angle is angle a now we can st we can also start from uh, side b we are starting from b so we will consider a and c here a square plus c square minus 2 into product of uh, a and c into cause of the angle between a and c the angle between a and c is b similarly we can also start from c c square is equal to because we are starting from c so we will consider a and uh, b a square plus b square minus 2 ab into cos of the angle between a and b which is capital c 
So this is cosine law. And uh, if we apply this cosine law into this triangle, this is a scalene triangle, this side is 10 centimeter, this side is 20 centimeter, and the angle between both sides is 45 degree. And we need to calculate length of this side, which is x. We need to calculate this. Now, uh, don't memorize this formula. Just try to understand that how can we apply this formula into the scaling triangle. For example, we are going to start from this side x, x square. Because we have started from x, so we will consider these two sides 10 and 20. That will become 10 square plus 20 square minus 2 into product of these two sides 10 into 20 into cos of the angle between these two sides, which is 45 degree. So this square will become square root 10 square plus 20 square minus 2 into 10 into 20 into cos 45 so we will have uh, we can use calculator 10 square plus 20 square minus 2 into 10 into 20 into cos 45 so we will have 14.7 x will be equal to 14.7 centimeters so this was cosine law and now we have uh, area of triangle in terms of uh, trigonometric identities area of uh, triangle it is equal to 1 over 2 into product of any two sides for example the product of a and b into sine of the angle between both sides the angle between a and b is c or uh, we can also write uh, area is equal to 1 over 2 into cb into sine of the angle between c and b which is capital a for example if we need to calculate area of uh, this triangle we can calculate area of this triangle we will have uh, area will be equal to 1 over 2 into product of two sides 10 into 20 into sine of the angle between both sides 45 degree now we can calculate its area 1 over 2 into 10 into 20 into sine 45 so we will have uh, 70 points almost 71 centimeters square almost 71 centimeters square